Hi. Happy Halloween, guys. Um, I mean, happy Halloween month. Happy Kira's birthday month. My birthday is, in fact, a national holiday. As you can see on famous birthdays right here, boost me. I do have the same birthday as Kim Kardashian, which makes it a national holiday. <laughs> Besides the point, um, I made this video probably like two years ago where I opened a dark web mystery box and it did very well. It has a lot of views on YouTube, it has randomly a lot of views on Facebook and you guys ask me to do it constantly. I just don't want to because it really creeped me out the last time. However, I have been really indulging in spooky season as you can see. Eight of spiders there and I'm scared of spiders but I'll do it for the aesthetic. Why are my pet rats kissing? <gasps> I should get the rats in a video. Just kidding. They're not going anywhere near this. I love the rats. But yeah, I ordered something called the Dark Web Mystery Box. Um, you don't actually get them on the dark web because that would mean you'd have to give your address to someone on the dark web, which is a big no-no. You just get them other places. They're called Dark Web Mystery Besides the point, we're gonna open it. And um, it was two years ago, so if you have forgotten, here's some of the stuff I found last time I opened it. Is that poop? That's a used tub. So we have a razor. I wanna say what I think's in this little baggie. So yeah, um, I actually ordered this one from the same place. I got the last one. Maybe this is their business model. I don't know. Let's get into it. Um, so please subscribe. I'm risking my life for you. Again, I was fine last time. I'm a little creeped out, but I'm gonna wear, you know, a mask anyway. Precautionary measures. And I'm gonna also put gloves on too. You know, just in case. I, I don't want to touch any, like, acid or breathe in any harmful, uh, chemicals. Not really sure if this mask is gonna do much. But it's... All I have, so it's what we're working with. Right, I'll just get into it. Anyway, here's the box. Um, I have untaped it already because it was taped up like it's in an old Amazon box. I don't know if they're making enough money to really upscale their pack. I it's probably just part of the experience, you know. So it's in an old Amazon box, as you can see. I've untaped it, I just covered my dress because I don't want people to, you know, I guess we're gonna open it. Okay. Oh no. Bruh. Hey, so I was gonna do a fun little sketch where I like kind of segue into talking about today's sponsor where I'm like reading a book and I'm like, screw this book. But then I realized that I don't even own a book. Which I guess is slightly more on brand because today I would like to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. So Halloween's coming up and to stay on brand, I have decided that I am going to revisit Twilight. Can you see this? It makes me feel weirdly nostalgic for some reason, but it's equally as kind of like spooky and gets me in the Halloween mood. And I recommend you guys listen to it. They have book number one on Audible, which I'm definitely going to be listening to tonight in bed instead of just staring at the ceiling and listening to my own thoughts as I usually do, which is not good. If you haven't heard of Audible already, which I'm sure you definitely have if you've watched any YouTube video ever, Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks for, you know, us kids that don't think physical books are cool anymore. They literally have any category that you could ever want, whether that's like business or whatever category Twilight is. <laughs> Audible is also giving members even more now with the all new Plus catalog with thousands of select audiobooks, podcasts, Audible originals, guided fitness and meditation programs, you know, just everything. In addition to that other stuff, Audible members get one credit every single month, which they can use in the entire premium section of bestsellers and new releases, regardless of price, and you get to keep it forever, or I guess for as long as you live. That didn't come out right. Anyway, Audible is literally good for anything you want to listen to of your ears, literally anything. And you can start using Audible with a free 30 day trial right now. Visit audible.com slash Kira Bridget or text Kira Bridget to 500 500 it's on screen and you know what maybe we'll be using audible at the same time listening to Twilight and thinking about Robert Patterson again that's audible.com slash Kira Bridget okay now back to this absolutely horrifying video that I just filmed oh I'm seeing a lot of wires and just like stuff that looks like biohazard I've done like three corona tests now and honestly one of the things in here just looks like one of the tests I took I don't have it I just had to take them so I can fly places just to clarify okay <laughs> uh, here's a little sneak preview. What are those? I guess I'll just take out the thing on top. Oh, that's really nice. Bruh. Firstly, I think it's used because I don't know if you can see. There's like a little stain right there. And um, masks are stained. It's usually from like my lipstick or something or my makeup or just, I don't know. Oh my isn't that useful? Hey, well at least uh, Darker Mystery Box places are, you know, the staying 
up with the current trends. I'm not entirely sure this is gonna do much. I didn't even know they had like an inside like that. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll be disposing of this. Okay, oh my god. <gasps> Wait, I'll save that to last. Okay, next up. I don't know if you can see what's in it. We have a plastic, but it's sealed, thank goodness. It looks very old. And that is hair. Disgusting! It's like brown. It's kind of like light brown hair. I'm not entirely sure if you can see the color. What? Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Mildly terrifying. Should I open I really don't want to open it, but I might do it. Just for you. Guys, please subscribe. I am a germaphobe, really, to the furthest extent. I couldn't sleep when Corona happened because I was just having panic attacks every night. Can you see? That is really disturbing. Okay. Okay. Next up, we have an acorn. Wait, this one is for a novel. Yeah. Two acorns. I've never seen acorns this big before. Oh wait, is that glue? Yeah, there's glue around the rim of the acorn. I'm not entirely sure it's a real acorn. Should I open it and see if there's anything in it? Oh, okay. Yeah. <sighs> oh bro, that was terrifying. I don't know what kind of contamination is in here. Yeah, it's just made out of like, I don't know what that is, but fake acorns, yay. Okay, next up we have some kind of packet. I don't know if you can see that, but it says refreshing towel and then has some strange foreign language on it. I couldn't tell you what that is. It looks maybe Middle Eastern or Asian. I'm not entirely sure. It would be nice if someone could tell me. But my camera won't focus on it, so I guess we'll just leave that up for interpretation. I'm genuinely, like, I'm not a smart person, hence why I'm opening this. So, like, I find it hard to comprehend how people can read those type of language. Like, my brain, my tiny little pea brain cannot compute it, but congrats if you can. Okay, I mean, this was fully sealed. It doesn't have any, like, it smells like... Wait, it smells kind of good. <laughs> uh, straight up smells of, like, lemons. I think it's a disinfectant wipe. I think they're trying to give this to me to be like, yo, wash your hands after touching this. This could be poison. I may be wrong. I will stop putting it on my skin. Okay, what do we have next? A nice creepy piece of paper. Oh, there are things on the creepy piece of paper. I do not know what that is. I actually have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna show you, and it'll be great if you guys, because you guys are big brain and small brain, can figure this out for me. Because what is, is this like temperatures? What does this mean? Could it be like coordinates or something? I'm kind of scared to research it, so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Tell me what you think that is down below, and Google it if you're brave enough, I guess. Okay, I'll put that to the side. Maybe I'll investigate that later. <gasps> Ew, is that a bug? <gasps> no, that is not a bug. There is- I'm gonna throw up. I think it's like a mealworm or like fish bait or something. Ah, I dropped it. It's in there, I'm not picking it up again. You guys can just- <laughs> Oh my God, that was disgusting. Okay, we move. <laughs> uh, there's still kind of a lot left. There is some kind of pill, I think. I don't know, it might be like candy or something, who knows, but like, what does that mean? It has some numbers on it, 180. Just in case the authorities are watching this, I'm gonna dispose of this immediately. I'm not in possession of it, just in case this is an illegal substance. Is it against the law to have an illegal substance if you didn't know you had it? Anyway, whatever. We have some kind of canister here. I would love to know what this is. It looks like really old. It's like matte. It's really like rough and bumpy. Kinda nervous. It kind of looks like those things that kids suck on at parties, like the thing where they get like a little high for two seconds. Looks like one of those that's slightly, I don't, I don't know, I'm putting it back down. <laughs> oh yes, we got one of these last time. Sponge with an unusual substance on it. This time it's white. I wonder what that could be. Mm. We d I actually did get a sponge last time. It was so long ago, it was literally two years ago, and I've kind of forgotten. I think it was red. No. I didn't... On there, potentially, I don't know. Anyway, we have this, this deodorant. It's like a little rolly thing, but it's like grey and... Do I squeeze it? Wait, something came out. I don't know what that substance is. I'll just do it on the box. What? 
I hope that's just paint. I really do. I don't, I don't like it. Hmm. Ew. Oh, I thought they were the same as my gloves. They're not. <laughs> we have some gloves. Well, we just have one glove, actually. <gasps> no. Oh, I don't even want to touch this. What if it's poop? Look at the tips of the fingers. Why are they brown? Why are they brown? Please leave some uh, explanations down below. I don't know if they try and make it just creepy on purpose. Okay, next up we have a bottle with some liquid in it. It's kind of yellow tinted. I don't think it's pee. Well, it's fizzy, so I don't think it's pee. I feel like this is a Sprite bottle or like a 7 Up bottle, but that's not the color of Sprite or 7 Up, right, guys? Maybe it, they peed into the Sprite? I. Well, this is it. I'm just kidding. Okay, there's two more things left in here. Mm. A glue gun. Does it have any? It does have a glue stick in there. Hmm. I'm not sure what kind of people use glue guns, but you know, I'm never gonna use it. <laughs> but thanks, I guess. I feel like this would probably be kind of expensive, right? It has a UK plug, so we know it comes from England. Well, do we know that? I don't know, because <laughs> there was some foreign language on the, the weird little lemon wipe, so who knows, but glue gun. <laughs> I just want you guys to tell me where you think this is from, because I, I don't know. Anyway, here's the final thing, and I'm saving this till last, because remember the tampon I found in the last video with the blood on it? Well, it's not quite a tampon, it's the other feminine products which people use. Um, do I have to... Okay, I'm gonna, oh my, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. Okay, okay, okay. What? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that it's not real blood. I could be very wrong. Just because of the color of it, like that's what fresh blood looks like. And this took a long time to ship. I feel like it would be like brown by now because it's like you know, oxidized. I may be wrong. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So there's that. I'm meant, I'm disturbed. I really am disturbed. Guys, so I mean that was it. This isn't something I recommend doing at home ever. Actually, just watch me do it. And you know what? Maybe I'll do this again in two years. Probably not though because I don't want to die. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out and decontaminate myself and probably take a bleach bath. Peace out.